Hi everyone, about a minute on the latest electricity woes in Iraq, which include blackouts in Baghdad. Over the weekend, there was a fire at a power station in Basra, the southern city of Basra, that led to a cascading effect of blackouts through southern and central Iraq. Um, at about the same time, there was a sabotage of a transmission line in western Iraq. The result was nearly the entire country of Iraq was put into a blackout. This happened at the same time that uh, summer temperatures in the region hit something like 47 degrees C, which is 117 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, the, the, the Iraqis have been suffering uh, power shortages for a long time. This is just the latest example. In fact, in early July, there were protesters in the streets in Baghdad protesting a lack of power. This is just the latest example of this. And the power woes in Iraq, I would argue, go back to the first Iraq war. In 1991, one of the first things the U.S. military did when it invaded Iraq uh, or began its invasion was to use blackout bombs to disable nearly the entire electric grid in Iraq. Iraq. Since then, uh, there have been a lot of problems with uh, sabotage, uh, with corruption, and there have been chronic power shortages ever since 1991. And the situation improved a little bit after the U.S. occupied Iraq, but when the U.S. left, the Iranians and the Iraqis began uh, uh, cooperating more closely. Remember, they're longtime rivals, but Iraq has been importing energy in the form of natural gas and power uh, from Iran now for several years. What's on the horizon? Well, just uh, in early July, Total Energies, the French company, signed a $27 billion deal with the Iraqi government. Uh, Total will take over part of the Basra, uh, part ownership of the Basra field, uh, use some of the associated gas from the Basra field to produce power. This is long overdue. Iraq has enormous hydrocarbon resources, but they don't have enough power. Uh, so this Total deal could help. But remember, nothing is going to happen fast in Iraq. These uh, power shortages have been ongoing for decades. Uh, they are going to continue for years to come, unfortunately. Uh, I'll stop there. You know where to find me on Substack, robertbryce.substack.com. Thanks a lot. See you.